can see Todd over here. He's hungry. There's his food right there. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a little bit of a serious post. I have to kind of, it's going to be kind of a quick post, just kind of an update of what's going on. I've been posting uh, the week of the Cumberland Island trip. I'm going to fast forward a bit because things are happening and I've got to kind of keep you guys updated as things happen. I'll continue on with the posting of the Cumberland Island trip, but I do have to um, kind of expand you on some things. Uh, there's a hurricane out there. Hurricane Erica. It looks like it's going to hit our coast, um, which means we are on a mooring ball. We've got to get off that mooring ball because the fetch of where we are is very severe. So, problems. Uh, our engine is messed up. I'm going to fast forward. On the last day of leaving to come home um, from Cumberland Island, it was actually uh, Fort George, off of Fort George, we ran aground in the middle of the channel. Uh, when we ran aground, we also um, blew, a, blew a push rod. Our, one of our push rods blew, uh, which maybe when we ran aground, it just, the valve was sticking enough or the, the push rod was bent enough where when we ran aground, it made that push rod break. We're not exactly sure why. And also our injector pump uh, gave out again. It was actually our lift pump, but our injector pump did need re rebuilding which was filling the sump with oil. We could have had a, a runaway diesel along with a broken push rod and a stuck valve. So now we're, we're, we are in trouble. We got the new injector pump, the new lift pump, put it all together. And when we went to run the engine, it was still making that noise, which then when we pulled out the valve cover to see if maybe the valves weren't adjusted right, we found that the, the push rod was actually broken. It wasn't bent, it was broken. We pulled out all the push rods, took out the valve, took off the valve cover, looked for the push rod. It must have fallen into the oil pan, which is okay. Um, it'll just sit there. The other side of the push rod that broke off. Problem. We got all the new push rods into the engine, and when Pete was trying to adjust the valves, he couldn't get the engine to turn over. The fourth, the number four valve was stuck. This is a big problem. We tried oiling it, we can't get it unstuck. We have to get this engine running. Talk to a mechanic friend of ours, turns out we're gonna have to pull the head off the engine again. We did this maybe six months ago, I've got the video up. I'll put a link there so you guys can see the whole thing that goes on with pulling the head. So, there's our dilemma. These are big problems. We're going to have to get with CETO, um, we actually have a CETO package with a good friend of ours uh, who is going to probably help move us to safety. I'll be filming along with the normal videos that I make every week and updating you on Facebook and any kind of social media, any kind of links are below so you get, can keep an update on what's going on. Um, the videos will probably be a little late and a little delayed just because of everything that's going on and um, we're gonna have to run for safety. It, um, it might hit, it might not, we're not exactly sure that's how hurricanes are. They could, they could be offshore 100 miles or not, who knows. Um, this is just how it is. And usually they head north, sometimes we can just run for safety, but right now we can't run. There's no way we can run, we have to be towed. So this is, uh, this is an emergency for us right now. Um, just want to update you guys on this. We'll try to be as safe as possible, and uh, and I'll see you guys again next time. I'm